Hi, my name is Judy Van Coyman, and you're watching Life Issues. This month's show is about career and life strategy, and my guest is Shannon O'Brien, owner of Whole You. Welcome, Shannon. Thank you for having me. Shannon, when did you start Whole You? I started this part-time in 2012, and then a year later in 2013, I decided to uh, leave my full-time job and do Whole You full-time. Whole You whole time, I like to say. <laughs> and why did you want to start Whole You? I saw that there was a gap in the services that were out there for career advisors and life coaches, and I kind of wanted to combine all of them into what I call holistic development. Um, so I think that I started Whole You in a response to the fact that the kind of career advising that I myself was seeking was not out there. Um, in, in 2008, along with so many other people, I was laid off from my job and it took me a year and a half to find a new job. Mm -hmm. And during that year and a half, I did internships and volunteering and informational interviews and all of the steps that I now do with clients. So it was uh, during that time that I sort of developed um, the work that I do in Whole You. It's probably partially inspired by my time working in higher education, so the university of being a whole person. Um, I break it down in three core areas, wellness of mind, body, spirit, career, finding alignment of your strengths and skills such that you're pursuing your life's work and you feel like you're in the flow. It doesn't feel like it's a grind. So many people are in their, their jobs and they feel, they feel like a, a disconnect. So um, wellness, career, as I was just explaining, and then service to society. So that's what I see as mm -hmm. a whole person. And you can say whole you as an university or you as an individual or you as an universe. You can kind of, it's up to interpretation. Please tell us about career development program. What we do in the career development program is start by identifying what a person's ideals would be. And so many people say, well, I don't even know what I would want to do because they haven't given themselves permission to dream mm -hmm. and to imagine what it is that they would really like to do. And so sometimes it's a matter of a process of elimination. Well, you know that you didn't like that part of that job that you did previously, so let's put that down there and then think of what the opposite would be. The mm -hmm. second step is conducting assessments to figure out what your skills and your strengths are. You probably have some inkling or some idea, but really honing in on those and then being able to articulate them. And the next step, we really use those strengths and skills to articulate what you're great at and what you love to do in the traditional cover letter and resume. It's usually the first thing that people think of when they think of career, but for me, I have it as the, the third step. Yeah. Um, and then in the fourth uh, session, it's all about confident communication. And this could be in person, body language, the words that you use, and also your online brand, because so many people are checking you out, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, mm -hmm. et cetera. And then the final piece is networking, making positive connections. Mm -hmm. And so those five steps are, are what the career development program mm -hmm. is all about. Can you tell us what the holistic development program is? Right. Holistic development program is, rather than five steps, it's ten steps. And it's based on the concept, an assumption, that we all want to be of service to the world or society or other people in order to feel fulfilled, but that it has to start with self-love, loving yourself. And that's what you're going to see in the world around you. And from self-love, it's mindfulness, it's nutrition, it's body's posture, it's your surroundings, your home environment, your career. So career is a part of that, but not the only part of it. And then your image and networking and service to society. So it's these, these 10 different steps. Um, and that might sound confusing. You could uh, see the in infographic on my website to really break it down. I have it in rainbow order. Mm -hmm. um, and I found, so the reason why I started Whole You partially was to have people deal with every aspect of their life. And I inadvertently became a career advisor. I wasn't planning on helping with people with their careers. Mm -hmm. I wanted to just help with all of these elements of the whole person, this holistic development. But I found that people are, were coming to me for career advice. So I said, mm -hmm. okay, well, that's, that's what people want, and I'll start with that. So I find that the holistic development program is probably best after someone has completed the career development program because if someone starts with the career development program, they'll feel more secure. Okay, I have a job and I have money and now I can worry about those other things. Unfortunately, people put their mindfulness and their nutrition on the back burner and put their career first. So 
Um, normally people would do the holistic development program after they have found and secured a job that they find fulfilling. And what type of clients come to you? Anybody who is seeking a balanced, purposeful life, but also wanting to pursue their life's work. Those are the two taglines that I use a lot. Um, so anybody who wants to have a job that's fulfilling and, and, and believes in those principles that I described, the wellness, the career, and the service, mm -hmm. and, and wants to um, partake in this approach. There is a steady stream of people who are finding me and looking to leave their day jobs for something um, more fulfilling. And, and I don't say that day jobs can't be fulfilling. Oftentimes people are looking for day jobs that just are in alignment with their strengths and skills and their passions and their interests. So I think that the two um, don't need to be, you don't need to be an entrepreneur or, or a circus performer or something really <laughs> unique, you know. And why did you want to start your YouTube channel? Yeah, the YouTube channel is, is I consider it it's, fulfills my career ambition and aspiration. I was studying educational media for 10 to 20 years. Um, that's what I studied in undergrad and in grad school twice, you know, educational media that would educate and inspire people. Initially, it was about educating and inspiring people around culture and international travel. And then it occurred to me, okay, here I am studying conflict resolution and trying to portray it you know, uh, in the media, but really conflict begins in the minds of men and women. So let me, rather than looking at a, mic a macro view, go to a micro view and just say, whole you, whole you and me, <laughs> and um, create educational media that would affect you and I. The videos are free, that's a way to reach more people around the world who might be interested in, in, in these issues. So mm -hmm. it's an easier way to, easier medium to reach people than when one-on-one -on -one is not possible. And what are some of the topics you discuss and do you have any favorite or most memorable episode? The topics I cover are wellness of mind, body, spirit, career and service. I try to stay in the realm of those three mm -hmm. those three topics. So the first year I was doing a lot of interviews. The second year I decided to do a lot of book reviews. So one of the books was Charisma Myth, you know, how you can have more charisma mm -hmm. and, and focuses on public speaking. So I think those book reviews are pretty valuable. And in this third year, this third season of the show, I'm doing more live stream. I know that the first video that I ever created on YouTube was about mindfulness and I interviewed a friend of mine named Morgan Dix who has a, a website called About Meditation and I think that that's the most important piece in this journey of careers you know so many people um, chase the mighty dollar or, or become a doctor because their parents were doctors or something like that but I think mindfulness is probably the most important place to start with any in, uh, decision with any endeavor to check in with yourself and get quiet and really listen to yourself and your inner guidance. And if someone would like to work with you, what's the best way for them to start the process? Thank you. I think the best way is through the website, which is wholeu.info. So it's W-H-O-L-E, the letter U, dot info, like information, I-N-F-O. The second step would probably be watching a couple of those videos. They're free. There's no obligation. So just checking out and seeing again if it resonates. My website is pretty great because there's, um, there's ways for you to just sign up for a session, a trial session. So mm -hmm. most people start with an assessment call and it's just a half an hour and people fill out a survey and answer a couple questions. What are your goals? What have held you back? Questions like that. And then we mm -hmm. talk for a half an hour and we, we hopefully get a lot of value in that half an hour and if people want to proceed, they can go from there. Okay, great. And is there anything else that you'd like to tell our audience about whole you or careers? Funny enough, um, I think that somebody's job, if you're a, an advisor like myself, or your job is actually to make yourself obsolete. You don't want to have people coming back to you forever, you know, and, and actually my clients, hopefully they come and they get what they need and get some inspiration and support and advice that will help them um, feel empowered uh, so that they won't necessarily need anyone else but themselves to, uh, to, to guide themselves to the place that they want to be.